Hey guys, I'm Steph and welcome to my beauty stash. Today we're going to do a get ready with me on my sofa. I am here in my living room and I'm just kind of relaxing, just doing little uh, things, little chores that I need to do here and there. I actually just gave myself a manicure and I also gave myself a pedicure. So um, that's something that I'm doing every weekend. Um, but I wanted to put on some makeup. It's about 12 o'clock right now here in South Texas. Um, and I just want to have some makeup on, even though, of course, I'm not going anywhere today. But, um, you know, just kind of feel a little bit more put together, I guess, a little bit more normal, you could say, um, whenever I have my makeup on. So that's what we're going to do today. We're going to do a get ready with me on my sofa. So if you want to see the look I have for you guys today, keep on watching. I have a huge basket here full of just makeup that I grabbed from my beauty room and brought over here to my living room. Um, so we're going to play with all of this today. Um, I have a little bit of a mixture as far as high end and drugstore. And of course, some indie brands are in here as well. Um, I'm pretty sure this is the first thing you all saw. We're going to play around with the Glam Light Pizza palette. I haven't dipped into this in a while. So, um, I mean, who's not eating pizza right now? You know, I know we're getting a lot of food um, delivered. And of course, pizza is the number one thing you can have delivered. And I mean, just looking at this palette, the outside, and then wait till you see the inside and that's what it looks like it actually looks like a pizza like a supreme pizza so um really happy really enjoy using this palette so we're gonna play with that today and let's get started with this face let's start putting on some foundation and the primer i grabbed is the catrice one minute face perfector primer For foundation, I'm going to go in with the Revlon Candid Foundation. I'm wearing the shade 120 Buff. And I'm going to take my e.l.f. Beauty Sponge and just start pressing that into the skin. This foundation protects against pollution and also a blue light difference. So I know now is a time where we're probably looking at our phones. A little bit more than we're used to we're in front of the computer maybe more than we're we're used to so having a foundation skincare and just makeup in general that can kind of help protect against the blue light that's emitted by our cell phones and computer screens and all of that that can really help for concealer, I'm going to go in with two different concealers for under my eye. I'm going to go in with um, another Revlon product, and this is from the Candid line. This is the um, Antioxidant Concealer. And to kind of build up coverage a little bit on my cheeks, I'm going to go in with the Revolution Pro Infinite um, Conceal and Define Long Wear Concealer. To prime my eyelids, I'm going to go in with the Revolution Pro. This is the Eye Elements Core um, Eyeshadow Primer. That's what it looks like. So I'm just going to get a little bit on my ring finger, and I'm just going to dab that on my eyelids. I'm going to go in with the June & Co. Um, this is the Makeup Setting Powder, and this is in the shade Brighten. And I've been applying my setting powder a little bit differently these last couple weeks. I've been going in with a dry beauty blender. Um, today, I'm going to go in with the Blendiful from Tati, and it is dry. So I'm going to dip into the powder, put a little bit on the tip of the uh, makeup puff here. And I've been finding that using a dry beauty sponge or, and even the puff, it just really helps the powder lay very, very evenly, very nicely, especially under the eye area. I actually learned that technique from watching um, one of Jeffree Star's Insta stories and his makeup artist, Boom, was um, the one that recommended doing that technique. And so ever since I watched that, 
have been doing the same thing and it's really changed the way my makeup looks it's changed the way my powder looks and um i i loved it i'm completely sold on it like i don't get that that cakiness that i sometimes would get from um from using a damp beauty sponge for powder i'm also gonna dab some powder on my eyelids i never like to go in with a really tacky um, eyelid base whenever I do my eye looks. I know some people that's their preferred way. They feel that the product just sticks better that way and it probably does but I like more of just like a smooth easy to glide over canvas. For bronzer I'm gonna go in with the ColourPop Coconut Beach Pressed Powder Bronzer. This is the shade right here. This is a really pigmented bronzer, but it does have a lot of kick up in the pan. A really nice, nice shade. I'm just going to pat over that with the Blendiful. No extra product on here, just patting over everything. All right, now it's time for blush, and I picked up this little e.l.f. palette. So these are the shades that are in here, and I'm going to just kind of like mix and match the shades. Um, let's see. I'm going to go in with the uh, peachy shade down here. Focus that on the apple of the cheek. Brush upwards. I'm going to go in with um, this pink shade up here and just really focus that on the apple of the cheek. Now for highlighter, I'm going to be super extra and I'm going to go in with the Jeffree Star Cosmetics. This is the Sour Ice um, Extreme Frost Highlighter. And with this, you just need to go in with your finger and watch the magic happen. <laughs> Whoa, take some of that off. <laughs> that is super super extreme and I absolutely love it so I'm gonna get a little brush kind of just diffuse that a little bit it is extreme for sure it definitely lives up to its name I'm gonna go in with the wet n wild hello halo blush lighter um, this one is in the shade highlight bling and I'm just gonna take a little bit of it um, on the bridge of my nose right there Now, I never do my brows on camera just because it takes me a while and I have to keep like looking really closely at a mirror and stuff. So let me go take care of that and then I'll be right back. All right, now that the eyebrows are on, it's time to dive into the Glamlight Pizza Palette. The first shade I'm going to go in with is the shade Garlic and it's this one up here and I'm just going to apply that all over my eyelid. Now I'm going to go in with the shade Basil, which is the shade right in here, and I'm going to start packing that um, on the eyelid. I'm going to use the same brush that I just used for garlic. So I'm not going to completely coat the eyelid. I'm going to leave that inner part free. I don't know if you all can hear the rain. It just started raining a few minutes ago. We needed the rain. Where I live um, in South Texas, it doesn't rain too much, um, especially like in the summer. It's just so, so hot and dry. So we need this. We needed this. Now I'm going to go in with the shade Mushrooms, and I'm going to work that in my crease. Every time I use this palette, I always end up creating like a red or orange look. So I'm wanting to use these other colors that I don't seem to be reaching for whenever I, I use this palette. 
I'm gonna go back in with basil and just kind of add some more of that color in, just re-intensify it. Now I'm gonna add a little bit of black olives into the crease. I'm gonna use a, like a little pencil brush for that, just to kind of deepen it up. And I'm also gonna add a little bit on the outer corner. And I'll blend that out in a second. I really just wanna place it. Now I'm gonna go back and just blend that. Now I'm gonna go back in with mushrooms and just add a little bit more of that um, on my upper crease area, right up here. Just to kind of blend the three colors. All right, now we need some shimmer on this eye and I'm gonna go in with the shade Jalapenos right here. And I'm gonna take that on my uh, ring finger and just apply towards the inner portion, of the eyelid. Ooh, that's a pretty shade. Now my lower lash line, I'm gonna go in with green peppers right here. Now I'm gonna go back into the Wet n Wild Hello Halo Blush Lighter, and I'm gonna go in with the um, shimmer shade right here, and I'm just gonna pick some up on the same little pencil brush I've been using and add that to my inner corner. Now I'm just going to go back and kind of just blend everything. There's nothing on this brush. So this is the eye look, kind of a green moment going on. Let me add some eyeliner and for the eyeliner, I'm going to go in with the new Wet n Wild. This is the breakup proof, waterproof um, eyeliner pen. And I'm just going to do a line. I'm going to go in with the other Wet n Wild Breakup Proof Eyeliner. This is in pencil form. And I'm going to use that to line my upper and lower waterline. Now I'm going to curl my eyelashes, which is something that I rarely do. It's just, I actually forget I have an eyelash curler sometimes. Um, I just usually let the, ma the mascara do all the work for me. And the mascara that I'm going to use today is the Milk Makeup. This is the Kush Mascara. Now I'm going to line my lips using the Steve Laurent lip liner that I got in one of my boxy charms. Now I'm going to go in with this Unicorn Glow. This is the color lip in the shade, what shade is this? This one's in the shade chocolate. Now I'm gonna add a little bit of this Soap and Glory Sexy Mother Pucker Lip Gloss. This is a plumping lip gloss. I really, really enjoy using these. I need to, I need to put a couple in my purse. Sometimes I forget to use them. Now I'm going to be super extra and I'm going to go in with two different setting sprays and they're both going to be from NYX. The first one I'm going to go in with is the matte um, finish setting spray. These are one of my favorite setting sprays from the drugstore. If you haven't tried out the NYX setting spray, absolutely, absolutely recommend it. I believe they're like five or seven dollars. They're not expensive at all. Now I'm going to go in with the dewy finish, but I'm going to focus this mainly on the outer part of my face. I'm going to try not to spray the middle of my face. Wow, look at that. Look at that extreme frost going on. And Jeffree Star kills it with his highlighters. All right, guys. So this completes the get ready with me on my sofa. What do you guys think of the look? I really enjoyed doing this little get ready with me from my sofa. It's a lot more comfortable to be sitting here um, than it is to be sitting in my beauty room behind all of the bright lights. So definitely be on the lookout for more of these videos in the future. Today is Saturday when I'm sitting down to film this and normally I would probably upload this video later this evening or even tomorrow morning, but unfortunately my internet has completely gone out. So it doesn't look like that's gonna get fixed until 
Monday afternoon. So I'm hoping you guys will see this video sometime Monday evening. But um, just know if it takes a little bit longer, that's why. And if you see that I'm quiet, that's why because my internet is not working here at the house. So I got to find other ways to stay entertained. And you guys know that makeup is definitely going to be at the top of my list. So use this time guys that you have at home to dive back into the makeup collection that you have don't feel like that you need to go out and buy any of the products that i was talking about or any of the products that you see advertised look through your stash see what you have and then try and create the looks that you're seeing on instagram on youtube on tiktok wherever it is guys so i hope this video finds all of you safe happy and healthy remember guys it is very important that we stay home these next few weeks you guys have a great day or night wherever it is you all are at stay hydrated water's right here and i will see you all very soon bye